Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. I just want to apologize for these past four or five videos being really non-tutorial-ish. They're more of uh, kind of fixing stuff that we messed up or I messed up and just uh, building on this game class, right? So it's, this is kind of a tutorial slash a walkthrough of how to make some kind of a crappy engine right so in some in some sense it's it's kind of good but uh, in in a tutorial sense it's not that good um so i promise this is probably going to be the last video on the game class we're just going to fix some of the final stuff and then in the next video we're going to try to make the or the uh model class so yeah i hope i hope that's okay and the description box has a bunch of nice links that you can check out if you want and you can drop a like and subscribe if you want to do that if you don't just keep watching that's all you need to do if you want to learn this beautiful OpenGL. So all we have to do in this video is we're going to fix some stuff because some stuff doesn't really make sense. And uh, what I mean by that is, for example, in the texture class, we have a texture unit saved and that's kind of a mistake. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove anything that has to do with texture unit in the texture class. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that a little quickly here. Uh, let's remove anything that has to do with texture unit. And I'm going to go ahead and in the bind function, I'm going to make a const gl int texture unit. And I'm just going to make sure that we can bind a texture dynamically because we don't want a texture to be bound to one texture unit. We want to be able to bind it to sev several diff different texture units, right? Texture units are just spots where you can bind different textures. And we want it to be kind of dynamic like that. So that's cool. We can do that. And then we're just going to remove this get texture unit thingy. And then this texture class should be fine. It should be free of anything with that has to do with texture unit. Now another thing is we want to make sure these are just, these are just, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, these are just texture units in the material class, all right? And they're going to say, okay, in this material, at this texture unit, we're going to have a, a uh, what do you call it, a diffuse texture for this material. And I'm going to bind a specular texture to this spot. So that's kind of how we, we have it here, all right? And that means that when we go into, and um, by the way, as well, I just want to get into this um, soon before I forget it. Remove everything else from main. Copy paste the two update input functions. Sorry, I just went off track there, but just make sure you do this. I copied the update input function here and another update input function, both of those into game. Just straight copy pasted them and I wrote game colon colon in front of them, all right? And they're just exactly the same, what you had up on top. And I removed the create function or create window function from, from here as well. And then in the game.h folder or file, sorry, uh, I made these two static. And now I said this should not be static, but it, it could be for now. The reason I have two is we can have several meshes drawn by the same function, all right, for different meshes. So we can kind of keep this kind of cool for now. Uh, and everything seems to be working for now, so that's cool. Um, so just make sure you put them here as static, um, and you should be good. There's nothing else that's really different here. Uh, so, so okay, let's just keep going. Uh, what I was talking about is the texture thingy. So let's go into main and the most of the stuff we're going to do is in render. So I'm going to change this. We want to set that this shader core program has this many units at our disposal. So it has zero and one. So two texture units at our disposal. And we kind of from the beginning have to, to remember which units are what. So we know that we know that the, this material is going to have zero Texture unit 0 and texture unit 1 uh, reserved. And then we can bind uh, our textures to those. All right. And then we can use those. So actually, in our shader, in our fragment shader, I don't really need texture 1 and 0 and all that anymore. I think I removed them. I did. I think I did remove them. I don't even use them anymore. Texture. Uh, no, we only use the beautiful, all the other stuff. So I can, I can actually go ahead and just, just remove these two completely. 
and this is an update uniforms thing so what I'm gonna do before we keep going even now is I'm gonna make it update uniforms function so I'm gonna just make it private because I don't want to do that from the outside update uniforms and this is gonna be defined in game.cpp so we should get a update uniforms function here somewhere there we go and I'm gonna go into render and I'm just gonna copy paste uh, all of this stuff that we're doing here and just updating all the uniforms for this shader all right and I'm gonna put it in here so these are the uniforms I want to update before rendering so I'm sending material to shader um, I'm setting the projection matrix again and I am sending the projection matrix so I'm, so I'm fixing all that stuff and we're just gonna call this function right here this update uniforms and those are gonna be updated update the uniforms and then I'm gonna use the program and I'm gonna bind pushing to zero and I'm gonna bind container to one okay so now we know this is the diffuse texture this is the specular texture and then I'm just gonna render the mesh okay but one more thing has to be done before we're done here is that we need to go into init materials and we need to say that okay we're gonna set diffuse texture to texture unit 0 and we're gonna set the specular texture to texture unit 1 and this isn't really I'm not 100% sure if we really need this but for now it's good because it, it sets that for us in uh, in the what do you call it uh, I would I'd rather set it here that's what I'm saying I'd rather set it here but it's part of the material so we'll keep it here um, and it sets it for us so now we know everything's good everything should be fine if I run this it should be fine so it should be a little more clean a little better uh, except it's crashing let's see oh yeah we have to remove um, the texture unit as well like that so now we bind them dynamically and that makes it a little easier because then I can bind I can do this so I can move this and if I'd want I could do this I could go into render and I can say I want to bind pushing to one and I want to bind container to zero alright so that's what I want to do and then I'm gonna run this and we have a container instead see so I, I it's kinda dynamic I can choose where to bind my textures alright and now we can just before we end the video we can just try making another mesh right here oh, I have two meshes okay I made two meshes right here so I'm gonna render mesh 0 and I'm gonna render mesh 2 Mm, which is one and now I'm gonna bind actually bound that to zero and that and then I'm gonna copy paste this before I render this I'm gonna bind this the other way so zero and one and let's run this and I should get one container and one cat yeah I got one container and one cat see so we don't have a we have an alpha channel but it does it does it's not really for transparency in that that sense so you can't really see what's behind it right now but that's okay um, so yeah there you go there you go that's how it works you got two pushings everything's fine and that's how you can uh, or two two meshes and that's how you can run that once we make models we can actually do all of this in the model so we can we can decide if this model should be rendered with this shader with these textures and with this, these meshes together and so on and so on uh, and then we'll update uniforms for that specific uh, that specific model as well so that's cool that we'll talk about that in the next coming video uh, this is probably the final cleanup video <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure thank you for sticking with me this long and I hope you're you're okay with the long ass video the last one and you followed through if you haven't watched it at least look at the code from github try to understand it and all the changes we made because now main is really different it's just a little small little thing everything is divided up in, in game you got a million initializer functions we're initializing everything we need uh, so just please check that out if you can't watch the whole video so but I really recommend 
looking at these things because now we're gonna get into a little more advanced stuff probably um so yeah thank you guys and girls for watching please check out the description box again for all the useful links drop a like subscribe if you can if you can't keep watching i hope uh, i hope everything goes well so best of luck to all of you take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye